so I'm going to do a little brushing demo for you um, so that you're able to keep on top of your dog's coats uh, while you're not able to visit the salon. Um, Puddin's a poodle, so he's got a very curly, dense coat. Um, a lot of you have got poodle crosses. Um, anything, any dog that you've got that's got a long, thick coat and is obviously getting longer um, in between visits um, is going to need regular maintenance. I'd always advise just brush them every day. Um, and if you can't do the whole dog every day, just work in sections and do your most important areas, your top priority areas, which are your legs, back and front, round your throat area, and round your back end. Okay, um, always um, brush your dogs when they're dry. So Pudding went for a walk in the fields this morning, got very wet, so he's dried off. He's very clumpy, he's not knotty, um, but he's very, very clumpy. So for our brushing, you literally need a slicker brush, which is a brush that's got little metal pins, um, and a comb. Okay, your comb is just to check for knots. So you'd never want to go straight in and put your comb in your dog's coat, because as you can see, that's going to hurt. It's not doing anything. His coat is too clumpy. So we brush first. When you're using your brush, make sure you have it on your dog's skin flat and that you're not flicking it and just use it nice and gently. Now the length of his coat you can see is much longer than the um, little spikes on the brush, so we need to work in sections. So first of all, what I would do, he's standing up, he's quite happy to stand, if he wants to sit, he can do. Um, I'd always put your dog up on a surface, don't do this while they're on the floor or on your lap, um, and if you're customers of, my, customers of mine, your dog goes to a salon, it'll be used to going on a table, so it's probably your best bet. Okay, so I'm just going to just give it a light brush through, just to loosen it up a little bit. And then I'm going to come in at the bottom, good boy, and just work in sections. So as I'm doing that, I'm working down to the skin, and then I release another bit of hair down to the skin. Doesn't matter which direction, you can brush in all different directions. Good boy, come in underneath as well. Okay, so as I've just done that little section, I'm now going to put my comb in at the root. And you can see I can get my comb all the way through there. So you can come up into your armpit. Your armpit is a friction area, so that can become knotty. So while they're not able to come in to the groomers, make sure that you give that a good brush through. Okay? Come in, sorry, pop it. Good boy. And I do the same with your back leg. Just loosen it all up first doesn't matter which direction you brush the coat in. I hold on to the hair so that you're not dragging on his skin. Good boy. Okay, and then you can gently lift the leg up. And I'm working down from the bottom. And again, you can see that I can see skin there. And I'm gonna bring my hand up a little bit, release a bit more hair, and then bring that down. And then you can see I can get my comb through there. Okay, and then just keep working up, bring in another section of coat down. So even when this is all brushed through, I would never get my comb and try and drag it through the coat because the coat's too thick. So you always use your comb in little sections. But as long as you can get the comb in at the root and then pulled out, then you're good to go. Go this way, put in. Go around. Good boy. Okay. And then round your dog's bottom. <laughs> good boy. Just hold on to the base of the tail, just gently. And then you can come in underneath the bottom and then get the insides of your legs and again get your comb and just check so your comb is just your checker pudding's got a shaved tail but if he has hair on his tail again just very gently brush the hair through there good boy come on this way and you go good boy okay then for the front for the front of your dog just hold on to their muzzle, just very gently, lift their neck. Be careful not to lift the neck up too high, because that could be uncomfortable. 
And again, just brush underneath there. Okay, he's very short underneath here. A lot of you have got much hairier dogs um, and you'll have to just go through light with the legs in sections. Can you see, so I'm holding on and just bringing each little section of hair down. And again, you can get your comb in there. Okay, so this is an area around here that often gets neglected to be brushed. So just bring your ear forward. It's a bit hard to see in this light with a black dog, I'm afraid. But... Okay, and again, comb through there. Do you want to sit with him? Good boy. Okay, and then for his top knot, he's got a big top knot going on here. But again, just sections of hair. What you don't want to do with all this is just brush lightly over the top um, because obviously if you then part the hair you haven't brushed anything down at the root. So you can brush over the top just to loosen it up but then you need to go through in sections and each time as you get your section go through with your comb. Okay. And then last is your body. This is the bit that most owners brush because it's the easiest bit.